Hi guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm following a Instagram post by Colored Rain using some of their eyeshadow products. And this was the look I was able to achieve. So if you want to see how I got this kind of nude, sort of sultry nude look going on, then make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Morning guys, we got kind of a late start today on Wednesday, <laughs> getting ready for work, not my normal time, but let's see what we can do in this short period of time. To me it's short, but really it's like 40 minutes, but I need 40 minutes to do hair, makeup, and get dressed. I always get my clothes out the night before on what I'm wearing or get an idea in my head so that way in the morning I'm not scrambling trying to find something to wear. Elf Cookies and Dream and Rare Beauty Pore Primer. I like this primer now. I can switch up a primer in a minute. It does just that. Minimizes the pores. Mm-hmm. Feels so good. Some of my paint pot. I'm gonna take peachy. Oh, I thought I was gonna take something else, but obviously I'm not because this morning is not the morning to try to find some. Trying to look for some. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of peachy on my eyelids. I've never used it on my eyelids either. But it is an eyeshadow primer. That's what it is. <laughs> I don't use it for that, but we're going to use it today. A fluffy Shop Miss A brush. We got a shape a rattle and roll. And blend out our concealer underneath our eyes. Y'all gotta tell me what new makeup is out there. I don't really know. I see Morphe has a new holiday collection at Ulta. I keep meaning to log on and check it out. I just saw advertisement on Instagram, but I need to log in and check it out. And I promise not so bad on my eyes. And uh, as long as it can cover and make the color stick, then we're good. I think for a foundation today, I'm going to take my Dior Backstage 5W. Only because I got a little organization going on with my foundations. I'm able to see. So y'all will see a lot of foundations in rotation. Uh oh, sorry. Uh, from now on, because I can see a little bit better. Of what I got and what I need to use. And just do two pumps of it for now. Cause it's a, a watery one, you know what I mean. It's watery and lightweight. Okay, it took me four minutes <laughs> to prime. Clean up my eyebrows and apply foundation. 
The only thing about this uh, Dior is it has a slight perfume scent. But it goes away. To me, I think this is the perfect uh, found, uh, vacation foundation. Oh, man. My computer screen went out, but the camera is still recording, so we don't got time to play with that today. We got to do what we got to do. I'm going to take whatever little bit is left. I have no idea where my Dior concealer is. It's somewhere around here, but I don't know. I'm going to take my two favorite concealers right now, Lancome and Wet n Wild, 435 and Medium Golden. I highlight with I love the way this combination performed the other day so I am here for it the long comb I don't know if I said it before but to me it isn't like full coverage it's like a medium coverage which I'm okay with, but I would think, I was thinking that when I purchased it, that it was going to be full coverage like the foundation. But to me, it's just a medium coverage. And these colors right here are similar, except the Wet n Wild just has a little bit of extra pop. You know what I mean? Just a little bit that if you're going for that little extra... I need a little extra ness in my life for the morning. And today is Wednesday, and I most definitely need an extra pop because it was a struggle to get up this morning. But thank the Lord. We got jobs, right? And we able to provide for the family. It's my thread beauty. <laughs> I thought about it the other day. I saw somebody using the LYS um, contour stick. And for the life of me, I, I don't know if I had that, but I, it sounded so familiar. I'm like, I wonder if I ever purchased that. But I don't think I did because I would have saw it by now. It's not a lot of things I want to get during this when Sephora does finally have their VIB sale. I think the most stuff I want to get is like some perfume. And probably some stuff from the Sephora collection part. I'm using the REM sponge, the flat side of it. Feel like that. <laughs> what do you call it? It uh covers more space in a short amount of time. Okay. Just brush again. I love to highlight. I love it. My Sasha Buttercup. 
Yeah, I know I'm late today because my eyes and stuff used to be done before it's time for me to wake up my son. But I got like 10 minutes before I got to get him up. So let's see if we can do the eyes for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm race against the clock. Yeah, I got powder everywhere. Make sure that concealer is set. Because we don't want it to move. For sure. Yeah, we don't want it to move. Alright, let me grab a palette. Okay, I saw Colored Rain use do an Instagram post. I'm going to put it right here. Of the look that I'm trying to do in my eyes. Don't know if it's going to come out the way it needs to come out. But I got the palette. <laughs> I got the palette. So, let's see what we can do with the palette. And it is the Queen B palette. I think, yeah. There's all the shades she used. So two, these two shades, mix them together and put them in our crease. The orange and the honey is called honeycomb and beehive. So those two shades. Put them in the crease. This looks like this is an Amazon brush, not my go-to kind of brush. And yeah. Let me do the other side with this brush and then I'm about to switch. It's fluffy, but... Something about me and my Wet n Wild. One of my buddies told me my Wet n Wild brush didn't work for her. Some things work for some people. Some days things don't. Some people love, and that's the beauty of makeup. Some people love certain things, and some people, this, this, this stuff don't work for them. And I totally get it. Totally. I don't think... <laughs> I'm going to swatch this brush off. I don't think, I think they had to use a brown somewhere because, as you can see from the video, the, it wasn't this orange. I'm going to take my bronzer, deep dark, the darker shade, Julia's face, and go over it. It was a brown, but it, I mean, it wasn't this orange, if you get me. Yeah, that's better. Go down, emphasize. This is going directly in the crease. I think she put a little black in the crease. I don't know, I want to try that today. Already push it for time. Push it for time. Yeah, I think this made it better. She used some more base on the lid, which I know we use paint pot, and that's what we're going to continue to use. Hopefully, it picks up this yellow shade. I don't know. We just got to find out. Only because I can't help but follow directions. I'm going to take a little bit of this black. And we're going to smoke it out just a little bit. The way they did it. No sense looking at a tutorial and not Following directions, right? <laughs> well, following the steps. If you're trying to achieve the same type of look, 
and get your brush and go directly over the black line. Okay, now yellow shade. Here's a test because y'all know where yellow gets us at half the time when we're trying to use yellow. You know, never do what we're supposed to do. But I think we good here. Y'all see how the yellow pick up? Oh, go ahead, color rain. Whenever I want to use yellow from now on, I need to use this one. The only yellow I need to use. Go in with my dark bronzer for the outer V. I could put black right there, but I don't want it to be that dark, I don't think. Not today. I know right now Color Rain is having $5 sale off basically everything. So I'm going to try to edit this video, have it up for y'all by Friday. So the sale, hopefully the sale is still going on. And then, oh, go Nana. Go Nana. Go Nana. And then you can get you some $5 stuff if you're interested. I have got the email. Or the text message. I don't need anything because I basically got everything I want from them. Oh, I need to see if that tropical forest palette or what was it called? Tropical something. If that's $5, I didn't even think to look at that. See, y'all bad influence. All right, did we do it? Did we get it right? Did we do it? <laughs> All right, hold on, let me get my sign. Okay, she used a orange colored rain cream brush, but blush, but all I have is this About Face and Cheek Freak in the orange shade. So that's what we're gonna use today. Almost forgot the blush. Hopefully. It's warmed up. Let me stop now. Why are you going overboard with the brush? Y'all can see the blush. Ooh, about face. Go ahead, about face. KBD. Go ahead, about face. I do think I'm going to take some of that uh, black shirt. Light the smoke out the lash line. I went like a my lash line smoked out lately. So let's do that while it's on our mind. As you know, I changed my mind. Let's see. Even though I, I can't remember what shade they use at the bottom. 
just a light little smoke. We okay? We are okay. Let me grab my lashes. And I can do the bronzer and the lips while I'm waiting on lashes. Y'all, I took the blush right here in the orange shade, the powder, and put that on top of my brush, blush. And I used my Juvia's Place to contour with. I don't even know if I was recording or not, so I had to show y'all what I use and now let me put on lashes I got these two lip products from she glam and it's a I guess a lip gloss and a lip glaze I mean a lip liner like a lip glaze we're gonna try to use that for a minute I already got on my primer let's see Okay, that's the lip liner, and this is the lip glaze. I guess it's a little moody light. Oh. Okay, that's all right. It's good. I mean, it's okay. I ain't going like <laughs> this is my beauty bay vintage because I want more brown, more warm brown. Yeah. And then we're going to go with the lips like we normally do. Put a little bit of macchiato in the center. Gloss, Julius Lace. No. Spray. Okay, guys, made it back. We did good timing today, and this was the look I was able to achieve using the Queen Bee Color Rain Palette and just following some steps from their Instagram post. And I think the look came out good. It's a nice, you see my top? My top is from Shein. One day I'm going to do a haul for you guys because that's where I order all my work clothes from, my pants, my shirts. It's something easy to throw, on and I don't have to iron them ever. <laughs> that's all that matters to me is that I don't have to iron. But yeah, I think the look came out spectacular. I probably can fix my eyebrows just a little bit, but I don't know where the eyebrow pencil is. See, that's what happens. When your desk is junky, oh here it is, and you don't know where nothing is. Is it this one? Fill in just a little bit. So I don't want it. This is my benefits precisely in my brow. Also, alright y'all. I want to see that. I don't like that one. We good. We good now. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you later. But this is the completed look. Bye, guys.